if this is your first time here, my name is Ashley and we will be doing a thrift haul today on this video. I hope that y'all like it and I'll see y'all at the end. Bye. All right, so today I'm just gonna be showing y'all some things that I've gotten throughout this past month, as well as some things that I got today at some garage sales. I was so pumped to get to go garage selling today and the weather is beautiful and today's only Friday. So there are more garage sales to be happening this weekend. I literally came to the car and nobody was walking around outside. And as soon as I pick up my phone and start filming, people start walking through. Ah! Anyways, no big deal. <laughs> Before I get started, I went and got me some coffee and a snickerdoodle because everybody knows you need a snickerdoodle first thing in the morning. <laughs> All right, so hopefully I'm brave enough to take y'all along with me on my shopping trip today and not get nervous about filming. We'll see. Good morning. Oh, no. And well, actually now it's Friday afternoon and I went garage selling, which is totally exciting because I've been waiting. Um, one of the places I went to though is a friend of mine and she had mes messaged me about some chairs that she had. And so I went to pick them up and then found a few other things. One being this, it does not make sense, but it will make sense when I'm setting up a booth. I'm gonna use this as part of a display. So I'll be adding stuff to it to make it sturdier and getting it set for me using as displays in a booth. So, Pretty much I got five chairs, this and six books, I think, for $20. My husband is gonna be like, what the heck? So before he wakes up, I'm gonna have to literally get all this organized so he's not freaking out about me bringing more stuff home. Okay, so these chairs, some of these chairs are broken, but mainly what I'm getting it for are these spindles. Um, and then I can use other parts of the chair, but I wanted the spindles. So each chair looks to have two top spindles. So I cannot wait to use these. I'm so stinking excited. So she had two chairs that were broken and then the other ones were good. So I might restore a few of them, um, but for sure just gonna finish taking the rest of these chairs apart. I'm not gonna get out all the chairs and what I do with the books is don't read them. <laughs> I take the bot, the covers off and um, make little book sets out of them and they turn out so stinking cute. So six books, I'll be doing that with those. And then the spindles is what I was going for. So this is what, what I'm shooting for when I look for broken chairs or old cribs that that are spindle cribs okay so then i went to another garage sale i got several things like i got my daughter some rollerblades i got my kids some clothes stuff like that but for the most part i was going for this stuff this cute burlap bag it's full of sacks so i'm gonna take that out but look how cute that is i got that and i got a roll of burlap like it's a pretty good amount I got that for five dollars so and I got that bag for three which isn't bad but you know stool so we'll be cleaning that up and fixing it I think I got I have an oddball amount of books but I think in inside I have other books so I found another book I grew, it's the the garage sales are like the best place to get them because you get them for like super cheap. And then I got this little tin and I got a wreath. Mainly I'm going for the burlap on this and not the Christmas. So I will be taking off the Christmas stuff and just using the burlap part of the wreath. I will also take y'all and show y'all some other stuff that I've gotten just throughout the weeks because this is the first time in a while that I've done a thrift haul, so. Okay, so I have brought in the stuff that I'm gonna show y'all. And this is just stuff that I've gotten throughout the month, um, just going to Goodwill mainly. We don't really have that good of thrift stores here where I live. So if I wanna go get something from a different thrift store, I have to go out of town to do that. And I don't always have time to go out of town. So every once in a while, I'll just be driving by Goodwill, I'll stop, see what they have. 
I do not, their prices are insane. So I really try not to spend um, more than like $5 on one item. I have not found anything yet that is more than $5 that I just can't live without. So um, for the most part, that's all I do. I loved the fact that I got to garage sale earlier because I'm sick and tired of Goodwill. <laughs> so garage sales have definitely been my thing I've been searching for and waiting for. So when the weekends come, I look to see what's there and I go. So this is just Friday and there were tons of garage sales. And I know that there's more garage sales that are only going to be open on Saturday. So I will be hitting those up. Anyway, so let me get showing you what I've been getting throughout the month. Um, okay, so this is my second lampshade. This one's smaller than the first one that I got. But what I plan on doing is I take this off and I leave just the frame. And then I'm going to paint it, distress it, and then I'm getting pendant lights to put in it. And it's just going to be a pendant light, but without this on it. So they're very cute. I've seen them around and I think that they're adorable. So today I might actually, I did already take some pieces apart just to get what I wanted. So I might actually be doing that. Some of the pieces today is just like prepping and getting them to the point of me actually like painting and stuff. And then maybe tomorrow, if it's nice outside, I'll do all the painting. Um, Cause I do need my husband's help setting up my paint gun. I bought it and I have not used it. <laughs> okay, this, I'm not sure. I think it's a magazine rack, but I just thought it was different. So I will be changing out the fabric and painting the frame and going with that. So this was only $2.99. I definitely can resell that for more. All right, so these are some boxes that I'm going to be making, but I saw this one at Goodwill and I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up and I can just show my husband what it is that I'm wanting and he can help me cut the wood piece. It does have this on the front and I will be covering that up because obviously I don't need that. My boys, their room is baseball theme, sports theme, but we're not putting this in there. <laughs> so I love it and I'm definitely wanting more of these to resell but I will be making them myself. I found this, I love it, the little coffee cup stand, um, and I'm just gonna sand it down. Actually, I'm not gonna sand it. I'm just gonna clean it up, paint it, and then hang some cute little mugs on it and be good to go. So I saw this and was super pumped to get it. All right, what else? I have a couple of trays, but this time I just got one. I have more outside waiting to be redone. So I'll probably have like, you know, things that go together and I'll just do them all at one time and it'll just make it way easy. So not my style. It'll be getting covered with it after I take off all these price tags from Hobby Lobby. All right. This was pretty cool. I liked it. So it's got these open shelves down there. And then it has this, the knob's actually really cute. I'm guessing a spice rack because it has the little thing right here, but it's super heavy duty and sturdy. So I really like it. I found another bread box and I like this one. So it's pretty big. It opens up smoothly. Oh, that book is always in there. And it also has this drawer on the top. So. Not a fan of the red. It will be getting painted. And I can't wait to work on this. I do have another bread box that has already been claimed. I just got to get it going. Um, and I am looking for more bread boxes. So, oh, okay. So at the beginning, I showed y'all that. Well, I'd, I don't know if I showed y'all, but I bought a stack of books. I had like seven plus this one. So I need to get one more book so I can make another whole set. Um, but I will be making some more book sets and putting some cuteness on them. They are like this when I get done with them. Very cute. And just set them on your shelf and yeah. Okay, so I have been having friends text me and call me with things that they found or that they have at their house. For a sweet lady that I know 
texted me that she had this vintage scale and she wanted to know if I wanted it. And I was like, um, yes, please. So I got it. I'm going to be cleaning it up and um, just making it fresh. I'm not gonna do anything crazy to it. Just gonna make it cute. And I don't know, I don't know yet. Still thinking about it, but I was super pumped when she sent me the text with the picture of this because I have actually been looking for some scales. And it's a good one too. It's set on zero, it's balanced, and it actually works. I just gotta keep it away from my kids so they don't jack it up. <laughs> I think that is everything. If y'all um, are liking what you're seeing, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you wanna see more videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and you can see them every week. I try to post more than once a week, but I've been kind of crazy lately, so I haven't been able to get an actual schedule down with my videos like I originally had, so it's not a problem. But I will get there one of these days. So hopefully over the weekend, I'll be working on a flip video for you guys and possibly get it posted Monday or Tuesday. Fingers crossed. So we'll see. Um, I think that's it. I hope y'all have an awesome weekend and I cannot wait to see y'all on my next video. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.